What's good, YouTube? Andre Reyes back with another video. Today we are off to Chicago. I'm with Bay, looking like a snack. We are running late. This is a quick intro. Um, not a Bears fan. We have a bunch of Raiders gear. Not a Raiders fan. So we're just going to go see a good football game. A lot of history at Soldier Field. We're about to rush to the to the field. We'll see you guys when we get there. Peace. Trying to keep this shit professional mm, But you never know Beautiful in all these ways You didn't know I put it all on the line I'ma let you know now So recap of the game, the Bears played an amazing game. Both had backup quarterbacks. Still played really good. Their backup quarterback for the Raiders. Obviously threw a few picks to put the Bears in position. I'm a Ravens fan. We just beat the Lions and we just blew them out. But anyways, there's a lot of history here. Um, Brian Erlacher, Lance Briggs, Walter Payton. There's just so many people that I've studied, watched, where I played football. And to be here, how legendary it is. And just, uh, it's a different feeling to be in the stadium. At her rated, I rated a 10 out of 10 experience besides the parking. Yeah, it's her first football game. The interview her next. About the game. So my very first NFL game, it was really interesting. I had a lot of fun. The only bad thing was I was freezing. That's why I had my little blanket with me. <laughs> I just wish I could have seen my man playing. But yeah. We'll so see. out of 10, what's your rating? 10. 10. Post game. Now we are downtown. We're going to try to get some drinks and food. Go see the Bean probably again. We've seen everything really downtown um, Chicago. Take you on an adventure with us. We'll see you guys at our next destination. Peace. Fix, cause you fix me. You miss all the shots and you don't take like Gretzky said. I remember we were riding on the jet skis. All this hoping that you never will forget me, yeah. Going on, on and on. Manifesting this love got me in awe. Baby, I should have known. I'll link it in the description. This is the best view. It's better than the other place that we went to in Milwaukee. And um, I feel like it's a perfect pregame spot. Have some drink before you go out to the bar. I recommend it, 10 out of 10. We haven't tried the food, but the drinks are strong. It is expensive, but you get what you get when you're in downtown Chicago. So what'd you think about the rooftop place? I give it a nine out of 10. It was good, nice view. The drinks were okay. We took some nice pictures, but too pricey for our budget. So one point. Minus. So where are we headed to now? I'm not sure where we're heading to. It's just going to be spontaneous, I guess. We'll figure it out. And once we figure it out, we'll let you know. So we are walking around downtown Chicago, we've seen everything. If you're coming to Chicago in these months, it seems like the bean is getting fixed or something. Something's going on to where the bean is closed. So we've been walking around a little bit, maybe see some more things, show you more of the city. 
and then go find some food. Ways you didn't know, tired of sending all these X and O's, trying to keep this shit professional. Mm, but you never know, beautiful in all these ways you didn't know. I put it all on the line. I'ma let you know now. I'ma let you know now. What's good, YouTube? We are at Taco Pub downtown Chicago. For our appetizer, we ordered elotes. Usually it comes in a cup at all the traditional Mexican restaurants I've been to. This one's on the cob. She is a three out of 10. And we'll see what mine is. Damn, you must like it, huh? Mm -hmm. We're at eight out of ten. Next comes the taco. We got the shrimp taco on corn tortilla with a some type of pineapple and some type of green. I don't you have know. Shrimp taco? That doesn't no, look good. chicken. Oh, chicken. Chicken. And then this sauce is like some type of pumpkin or squash or something. We're not gonna use it. Just straight taco. That's good. Super seasoned. I am a corn tortilla kind of guy. I would say nine out of ten. Now try your shrimp taco. Mm. It's good. I'm missing all the extra stuff in the taco. <laughs> No lettuce. 6.5? 6.5 for Taco Pub. This is the last food place, I promise. But we do need a coffee. We might go to a haunted house. So. Well, I got the maple, matcha, latte. I got the pumpkin spice, and they both have two shots of espresso. Ooh. Oh my God, it is green. It's matcha, bro. You've been to Japan. Better. I told you not to get that. Mine's green. Can you see that, guys? <laughs> I, I want a coffee. You, it's matcha. Oh my god! It smells I, like. Cilantro. I tell her she always tries to get new stuff, and I tell her what it is. And these donuts, if you guys watch our last vlog, which you shared the Milwaukee vlog, them donuts were trash. So let's see what Sam's donuts look like. Mm, it tastes. Sorry to interrupt You're you. Good. That tastes like the, the Japanese matcha. It's good. I got pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. And this is some type of vegan cinnamon. Cheers. Mind you, they only had like one tenth of the donuts they usually have because they're about to close. Mine is black. I'd switch. Mine's like a two out of ten. It's soft. It's not that dry, but it tastes is weird. Yeah. Mm. I like this one way better. Yeah, you want some coffee? Give this one like a seven. Chicago food kind of disappointed me so far. We're gonna go to a haunted house, maybe. The scariest one is called like 13 floors, a core or something. So we either take you guys with us or we might go another day. Tonight. Oh my God, I hate haunted houses, especially if they can touch you. I love so, it. Well, I guess I'll see you guys at the haunted house. What is up YouTube? We're finishing up the video here. We went to 13 floors of terror out in the outskirts of Chicago. 
Give them your tour. Now listen, before she speaks, this same place of maybe 10 years ago, they were grabbing people, the floor would drop from under you, throwing you around. And I think they kind of dumbed it down for kids or they got a, a lawsuit. I don't know if this is the exact same place or not, but go with your rating. What do you think? Give me, give us your, your, your thoughts. And you couldn't record. Yeah, I got caught recording. <laughs> it didn't throw me out, but um, yeah, they yelled at me. But um, since I was uh, at the haunted house tour like a week or two before, which was kind of better than this one, this was disappointing because he got kind kind of you know got me hyped up. Yeah, yeah. you know they're grabbing you and floor shopping and this this yeah. and that. Like yeah. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. We we either paid like um, extra money to get like the fast line to just skip the the whole line, mm -hmm. and uh, it was it was a six. If I would have waited in that two and a half hour line for that, I'd have been mm -hmm. pissed. So he paid extra. We got to cut the line. Mm -hmm. It was just too bright. And they, they have so many people going in at once. The, the group we were in, the first three, we get scared. And then me and her will go through. And the guy's like getting back to where he was to scare somebody. Yeah, yeah. She jumped like two or three times. I jumped two or three times. Other than that. Yeah, they, a waste if, of they, time. if they would have, I don't know, separated the group better or if you were like going through the whole tour by yourself, it would have been different. But like, you know, I, since I was the last one in the group, like, bro, I already seen what's going to happen. Like, Yeah. So I give my rating, I give it a three out of ten. Some guys had, they had really good costumes and they were hiding in good places. It's just too lit up, too many people at one time. And mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it was kind of disappointing. Give it out of 10. I said already five. Oh, yeah. I'll go with you. That's a five. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a long video. We did a lot of stuff. And um, we'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.